Good afternoon. Glad that any, any, anybody uh, represented for 32BJ besides the, the big boss can come up here. Besides the big boss. I, you know, I, I, all this purple, I thought the Omega Psi 5 was in here. So, uh. So I just want to uh, uh, thank everybody for coming out today. I, I want to excuse me for being a little late. I just came from uh, the new ribbon cutting of Elliott Street School over the North Ward. They're finally getting a beautiful uh, state of our outstanding building over there. Uh, so we're happy for, for them and that community uh, as well. Uh, we're here because all of us have something in common. Uh, and, and, and I believe that what we have in common is Port Authority. So we want to make sure that all Port Authority facilities and employers doing business at those facilities pay a minimum of $15 wage per hour with benefits to all employees. Yeah. That are Port Newark is uh, vital to the economic well-being of this city. Uh, it, it supports over 143,000 direct jobs and more than 250,000 total jobs. You know that only 18% of the jobs in the city actually go to Newark residents. Uh, that is a problem in and of itself. With an entity as large and as powerful as the Port Authority, uh, we need uh, more access to jobs at that site, and we need uh, those people at the site to be able to earn $15 as a wage with benefits. Uh, we think that no airport worker who works full time should have to live in poverty and be forced to make a choice between housing, food, and health care. Raising the minimum wage to $15 will help thousands of workers find a path out of poverty that leads to a liv livable wage and dignity in their workplace. Uh, It seems to be uh, logical to me when workers make more, they spend more, they contribute more to the economy. Uh, when you, so raising the minimum wage helps us to improve the economy, not just of the city of Newark, but the state of New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey is probably one of the most expensive states to live in in this country. Increasing the minimum wage to $15 will help make sure that the state stays viable for all of its residents. Uh, it, And, and I know people are saying, are, are we trying to uh, uh, make Port Authority do right by the city and bring the workers in by increasing uh, $15 uh, for wages? And the answer is yes. We're trying to, <laughs> we, we are trying to bring it all together because we think it all uh, coincides with one another. We think that there is an inextricable tie between what's happening in terms of the Port Authority's treatment of the city of Newark and the Port Authority's treatment of the workers that actually are up there. Uh, it is important for us to hold the largest state agency, um, uh, you know, hold them accountable to making sure that Newark residents and that the state is benefiting uh, from that. So we are here today in unity with 32BJ uh, because we know that raising the minimum wage of $15 not only helps uh, the members of 32BJ, it helps all of Newark. Uh, so it is obvious that we should be together all the time around increasing uh, wages, around health care benefits, and making sure Port Authority treats our city with respect and dignity. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, any any uh, press have any questions? I'll take a few at this time. Yes. Yes, and they no, they haven't. There's a lease agreement that suggests that there was a, there has to be an administrator, a Port Authority administrator, uh, over the seaport and one over the airport. We're, we're squabbling over who is supposed to pay for them, but it is in the lease agreement that they uh, have to be responsible for it. Uh, and, and that's a part of our uh, uh, Office of Port Authority Oversight, which we want to create here, uh, because oftentimes uh, we're not way out there. We need people out there to be able to monitor our asset. That's not, we don't believe it's being monitored ad adequately. 
Most of what we get from them is just based on faith. They present it to us and we take it at face value that this is actually what it is. That's why we're doing the audit because they usually give us what, the, what they've earned uh, uh, at the uh, at Port Authority and we have to take their word for it and we need to do a real audit to find out if we're getting exactly what we deserve here in the city of Newark. Have they been cooperative with you since you got in office and been talking about this for a while? Yeah, well, we, we've been talking. I mean, and, and, you know, we've been talking not a lot of motion, but a lot of talking, right? So we've been talking about various issues, from environmental issues to employment issues. I've probably been at the site a few times with, with workers trying to get $15 an hour. Uh, we, we've been talking about the Office of Port Authority, the two administrators. Uh, we've been talking about the audit. <laughs> we've been talking about the sale of the seaport. There, there are many uh, discussions that we've been having with Port Authority. Um, and we think that it's a uh, high time that they begin to do something about the things that we've been talking to them about. Uh, you know, soon there'll be a, a, another uh, issue where we'll begin to come out and talk about the actual workers that work on the docks, that work on the port itself, that work in the warehouses, which is uh, something that's coming up in the near future. It also involves Port Authority, but also other folks that are on Port Authority site. Yes. No, I think we were going to do this anyway. I mean, as was stated, we were fighting around these things, and we've been fighting for a long time. I think the, 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 the piece about the towing is a distraction. Uh, actually, the, the property is, is Newark's property. Uh, the, the airport and the seaport is Newark's property. It doesn't belong to the Port Authority. It doesn't even belong to the state of New Jersey. It belongs to the residents of the city of Newark. And our laws existed before... Uh, all of these other uh, organizations existed, so uh, obviously we're going to enforce the laws of, of our city. Um, that being said, we, we need Port Authority to be a better partner for us uh, here in the city of Newark. And I, they have been meeting with us, so I can't say they have not been meeting with us. Just the outcomes of those meetings have not been as successful as we want them to be. Mayor, two quick questions. Uh, one, do you have an idea how long you expect the audit to take? And will there be an independent auditor that works with the Office of Port Authority Oversight? Well, we, the, the audit that we have is an independent audit. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we have to pay half, they pay half, and uh, we have to pick from the group of guys that's at the top, but we think that we have picked a, a, a great company and we're gonna come up with, a, a, I, I believe, a good uh, outcome. And I would imagine that it should be done uh, sometime in the spring, and we should be able to have uh, an answer around what we need to do in terms of negotiations with Port Authority around their lease agreement. Oh, that's, that's like saying uh, the audit doesn't have the, uh, the authority to make the part authority change, but what it does is reveals what's going on there to allow us to operate in a way that we know uh, is right, is true. So to have oversight uh, is, is very important to be able to look at our asset. So if the asset belongs to the people of Newark, we ought to have the opportunity to look over it and make sure it's being managed properly. If you look at the seaport, there's, there's very, virtually no development happening on the, on, the, on the side of the seaport that the city owns. Uh, we think that our asset is not being managed properly. We don't believe that we're getting everything that we're supposed to get out of that asset. Uh, we don't believe that the people that are working up there are being treated fairly. And these are things that we have a right to, to talk about, to intercede in, to interject in. And, and we're going to do that. And we're going to use this Port Authority oversight as a watchdog organization to begin uh, to, to look at that and begin making recommendations to the city, to the state, about what our relationship should be. Go ahead. How did you come up with the number of 15 for the wage and how many people will that affect? I think it, it, it affect in, in this state, it probably affects millions of people. <laughs> was, was there a formula to come up with that? Or? No, the formula is probably justice. <laughs> I saw another hand over here. You had a question? Matt? Yeah. Mayor, uh, there's a debate going on in Brooklyn right now about $15 an hour. Right. Favor. 
immediately. I think we need $15 immediately. We've been... I think we've, I think we've been in poverty over a long top period of time. So, I mean, it's time for people to be able to make a, a, a living wage or at least a, a $15 uh, a raise is, is not that significant to me. When you consider the billions of dollars that's being raked in uh, by some of the top companies in the state of New Jersey, uh, it's, it's time to make sure that working people at least are able to feed their families and, and be able to pay for rent at the same time. And a, a happy employer is an efficient one. That's right. And then the brother said a happy employee is an efficient one, that's for sure. <laughs> one second. But in, any other press? What, what? Last question. Go ahead. Uh, the, the lease payments is close to about $80 million right now. Uh, if, if we were taxing them, uh, what the full taxes were in the city, that would be woefully low in terms of what they would have to pay us. The, the, the value of the property uh, on, on Port, Port Authority is about a million dollars an acre, right? So the seaport by itself is about 1,000 acres, right? And the airport is probably a, another 1,000 acres. So a million dollars an acre is a considerable amount of money uh, that we would have to begin to tax there. So we are not getting absolutely nowhere near what we could be getting uh, from that asset. And we're not clear on all of the development and improvements that they're making there that continue to draw in uh, kinds of revenue uh, uh, for them. And we just, really what we're saying is that we want our fair share, right? And we could be here for hours talking about how we're not uh, getting what we deserve uh, from Port Authority. And I think it's time that we begin to do that. And uh, not just Newark. The state of New Jersey is not getting what they deserve from Port Authority. And it's time for, for New Jerseyans all over the state to begin to demand that Port Authority does more for New Jersey. Uh, the same way they treat New York City, they need to begin to treat New Jersey. Right. Okay. Last, last question. Okay. Well... I, I don't know if it goes so well. I just know that nothing happened, right? So, I mean, we can talk and talk, and, and it's good. And I appreciate the discussion, the conversation. I talk with everybody, and I get in trouble for talking to people sometimes. Because people think I shouldn't talk to people. I'm held to a different standard than every other politician. So I talk to people, but there, there are no results. Uh, so obviously we need some results uh, from the talks that we have. And we're going to continue to talk and continue to engage them. Uh, but ultimately, we need to be able to get movement on the things that we've been discussing. Thank you for coming out. 32. DJ. 32. DJ. 32. DJ. DJ. Julie wants one.